Okay, so slope is rise over run. And you gotta ask yourself, okay, well, um, what is this, like, if I were to draw a line here, almost like our, our tiles that we saw yesterday, right, on the, on the connection points, like, I could connect those, and I would see that there'd be a line there. Okay, the slope is like the relative steepness of that line. We know from slope, dude, if I was going towards the right, that this is gonna be positive, it's gonna be positive slope. Right? Because it's it's puff puff positive, if you will. Okay. Alright. How puff puff positive is it? Like how steep? Well that's that's what slope is. It's measuring how high do you have to climb for some amount of horizontal distance, right? That's what it is. Um, and so there's a couple ways to do that. I'll show them both to you. But if I was starting at a point, this is kind of what I showed you guys yesterday on how to like actually find the slope. Well, I would have to go up to, and then how do I get to the next point? Well, I'd have to go over one, two, three, four, right? So I'd have to go up to right four. And so you get two over four, which is reduces to one half. Okay. You should also see, if you guys, just with this generic shape that I'm seeing here, and what I said, um, here's your rise from here to here, right? What's it rising by? Uh, well, it goes up. Okay, we're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what's it going from left to right by? The run. Well, it's going to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, six over twelve is also one half when you reduce it. Okay. There's honestly only two pieces to like graphing a line. You have how steep the line is and where it starts. Okay. We don't know where this starts. It's just a, it's just like a, almost like a staircase, right? Um, but that's it. As long as you know that those, those two pieces and you don't mix them up, that's lines. So that's actually a really, really good foundation for like a big, big chunk of, well, all of grade nine and some of grade 10. Okay. Cause I have to ask you to graph these lines. I have to ask you what we're doing today. And, and if you understand what, all of that work it makes the work that's coming that much easier okay two pieces slope and where the graph starts that's it right um, if I look at B and I'm picking B strategically because this one if slope dude is going to the right still this is what we call a nice negative or a negative slope okay I know it's negative because if I'm looking at where I start and where I end, right, they are, well, the end point is below the starting point, okay? But I can also, if I'm starting here up at this top point, I know in order to get down here, the path of travel, here, I'll use a different color. The path of travel to get from here to here, I have to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Well, what do we associate with going down? The down is always kind of negative, right? So down six, right? And we have to figure out how far over are we gonna go, right? Left and right, because that's the run. Well, then I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So to the right, ten. And you take a look at these values and you say, okay, well, down is associated with a negative, and to the right is associated with a positive, right? So positive ten. And you could reduce that fraction, right? A negative divided by a positive, it's always, always going to be negative. Right, that's not going to change because the negative dominates. So you're gonna say, okay, well that's it's still negative something. I could divide them both by two, it looks like, right? So I'm gonna get negative three over five. Okay. Negative three over five. 
okay? These are equal. We call, we call those uh, equivalent ratios, right? If you were to count down three and write five, that will give you the same red line right here as counting down six, write 10. They will give you the exact same line because they are equivalent ratios, okay? Now I've posted this on Minds Online for you guys to have a look at and play around with if you need to do a few more. What I wanna do right now 